I'm Gina Davis, and I'm coming to you today from the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media. Here at the Institute, we don't wear lab coats, but I'm an actor and I like to wear costumes. Our goal at the Institute is to dramatically increase the percentage of female characters and reduce gender stereotyping in film and television that's made for kids, little kids, 11 and under. And what we found is very disturbing. Let me show you. For every one female character, there are three male characters. Not only that, the male characters get to do stuff. Hmm. They get to have fun and have adventures. Not so much. We also wanted to know what the percentage of male and female characters was in crowd scenes in movies. We found, what's happened here? We found that only 17% of the characters in crowd scenes are female. 17%? I think women make up 50% of the population of the world, but I don't have a chart for that. So that's the big picture. But today, I want to talk to you about the little picture. In fact, a very, very little picture. I want to introduce you to someone who's greatly impacted by what we just talked about. Meet Jane. She's an animated character. She's adorable, quirky, and has spunk. Her special skill is that she can do absolutely anything that an animator can think of for her to do, except stand around in a bikini. Not because she can't, but because she doesn't want to. So why does Jane look so sad? It's because she has never been cast in an animated film or television show. Why is that? It seems like it would be so easy to cast Jane in some interesting and challenging role for her. I want to see Jane. I mean, we see Dick. We see Dick all the time. Let me show you some other pictures. This guy has a job. This guy's series just got picked up for 13 episodes. This guy is hounded by the paparazzi. This guy's hosting the Golden Globes. Even this guy has a job. He just got signed by CAA. I have another picture to show you. This is a picture of a crowd scene from a movie. All of the characters are male. How do I know that? Because if any of them were female, their waist would be smaller. We know we're making a difference. We did a survey of everyone who has heard our presentation in the entertainment industry. 68% said it had impacted two of their projects. And 41% said that what they learned had impacted four or more of their projects. We feel like this is real progress, but we need your help. Jane needs your help. And all of the thousands and thousands of female animated characters who are languishing without a movie to be in. Except for the ones with big boobs, they are employed. Please, remember Jane. I don't want to be eye candy. Not that they'd cast me as that. I can't even get arrested in this town. Mm. What a shame. Let's turn that frown into a smile. I'd do it myself, but I don't have a pen on me. If you'd like to help Jane, besides donating, you could... Actually, donating would be the best. Yeah. Go to cjane.org, and you can donate there. And remember, no gift is too large. If she can see it, she can be it. Thank you.